Throughout history, we, as humans, have used the power of our minds to achieve incredible and amazing feats. In reality, our minds are simply tools we use to create our thoughts. And the quality of our thoughts determines the quality of our experiences. A simple shift in perception will quickly and easily improve how you feel and what you believe is possible. Helping you to achieve all of your personal goals. Even those that previously seemed unattainable. Join us now as we explore the vast landscapes of our minds. This is Mind Over Matter. Good evening, I'm Mitch Friedman and welcome to Mind Over Matter TV, where we help you find different tools and techniques for you to overcome the obstacles in your life, feel better, and reach your goals. What a concept, huh? And you know what? I've been having such amazing results with the hypnotherapy work that I do. I'm a clinical hypnotist, and I've just had such great feedback lately with clients. I'm really, it's been really cool because I've actually been attracting all the perfect clients to me that are so ready to change that the outcome, the results they're having in their life are just immediate and really amazing. So tonight, I have a good friend of mine with me. It's, he's Parrish. Marchanato, and we met at the store, at the Mind Over Matter bookstore, and we decided to do a couple of sessions because one of the things that Parrish was wanting to do was let go of some of those old programs that keep us stuck where we're not really wanting to be and, you know, keep us from moving towards what we're wanting. And we all have these little obstacles, so we decided to do a few sessions, and Parrish had such great results that I thought, why not have a real live person on the show talking about real live story about how this really works? Well, welcome to the show, Parrish. Thank you, Mitch. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, yeah, my Meeting pleasure. Meeting you all yeah. this time is great. So tell us a little bit about, I know that when we were talking in the store, you were talking about, you know, trying to find a job and just, just moving forward in your life. You had that experience that so many of us have where we feel like sometimes we were really stuck and we can't figure out what do we do, how do we move forward, and we get so focused on the action, we kind of lose perspective of what we're really wanting. So tell us a little bit about, let's talk at f first about the problem. When you came to me, what was the problem? Well, the problem is exactly what you just said. One example is trying to find a job, but it really covers your whole life. In my case, I was really trapped in the question, what's the next step? So when I fell trapped in the next step question, you get locked and you get confused, you go everywhere and nowhere without any response, any positive response or the response that you want. So for me it was really, really a, a slowdown in my life. And I never stopped searching or looking and when I met you, which I felt blessed to meet you, you really, through you came to me. Uh, the techniques that I was lacking, that I was looking for in order to find some method to move forward. And it is through you, and I thank you, Mitch, for, for these tools that you taught me. It really works. It really works. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of the things I love about the hypnosis is that it's so quick. I mean, I know that was your experience. This, you know, the second time you came, it was less than a week later, and right. you were already having different experience right. in your life. Right. Here, I want you to tell, tell me, tell the audience about a little bit about, you know, we talked about the problem. Talk a little bit about the process. Like, what was it like for you? Right. It, it is a trip, you know. I've been hearing all these years, life is a trip, the right of life. But once it really sinks into your whole being, it's... It changes everything. So I want to start saying I was trapped in a process of thinking. All my thoughts were just focused on what I don't have, what I can obtain, how am I going to do this, I feel so miserable, 
I'm not moving forward, everything is a problem, everything is it's a rock in the middle of the path. Once I learned the techniques that you taught me, even though thinking in my head, all the knowledge is there, but you don't do anything with that until you put the action. You really help me move from the knowing to the action. And that's the key that I found in my life. I was so locked in the just dreamy, in the thinking process, I wasn't able to move to the action. And that's what it moved and switched, really, 360 my whole life, my whole way of seeing life. So now, being in the action, I'm starting to really acquire and see the results. Cool. So I want, because people are going, well, how did you do that? How did you move from that stuck place, from that limited programming, into finally figuring out what to do? Because we get so focused on the action part. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What do I need to do to get to where I want to go? And really what that's all about is we don't really know where we want to go. Exactly. So the action part seems like such a struggle, and it seems so difficult to try and figure that out. And you can't figure that out until you actually know where you want to go. Exactly. So... You know, one of the ways that we, we got you towards that action part, and I want you to talk a little bit about that, is we found what those limited thoughts were. So talk a little bit about what, what those ideas were that you noticed were holding you back. Right. Exactly. This is where uh, the techniques of hypnosis and the, the sessions with you really worked. Because you brought me to the, the, the bottom line where I couldn't move anymore and just acknowledge and be aware of, Okay, this started when I felt I'm not wanted, I'm not worthy, um, I'm not good enough. And all those old programs that run my life. But with the session and the, the second session, it was so clear to me that instead of being stuck there, once I discovered and I faced them, I could move to the picture in my head of what I want to my to, to be in my life. That big question that I've been hearing for almost all my life, what do you want? <laughs> Finally, I could answer that question. And that was a whole new perception in life, in my body itself. So it started inside. Right. And I remember, if you remember, one of your last questions during the last session, how do you feel now? Tell me your last phrase. And I said, I feel one with the universe. Right. It's like it's, it wasn't anymore just a thought, a romantic feeling. It was really felt in my body. And that is amazing. Yeah, well, A+. Plus. I mean, I'm so, I, I, this is why I breathe air, is to hear these kind it's, of stories and, and these kind of results that people are having. And one of the things I want to point out, and, and, and you can, I want you to say something about this. Once you get rid of those limited ideas that seem to be holding you back and stuck, and it just seems so difficult, I hear it all the time, why is this so hard, why is this so hard? Parrish, once you got aware, once you were aware, you brought those ideas, oh my God, I'm a failure, I'm not wanted, I'm not good enough. Once you brought them from your subconscious mind up to your conscious mind, where now you have a choice, and now you can change them. How quick, how easy was it for you to move forward from that point on? Oh, that session, I felt the whole process, the whole methodology that you guided me, I felt that I was ready to really go through the just being here in the head, in the romantic thinking, I, I wish I could. I moved through, I feel and I can. It, it's, it's, it, it was just a really magical switch. And from that moment, my whole perception of life, my whole focus was different. My focus was in the, in the positive mindset instead of just being stuck in the negative mindset, which didn't bring me any good results. And that's so, that's so common that we're, we spend so much time thinking about what we're wanting to move away from instead of what we're wanting to move towards, wondering why nothing's changing. And I'm sure that, you know, I've had this, you've had this, and I'm sure people out in the audience have had all those yeah, but thoughts. Instead of that, that confidence and that, that expectation of having positive results, every time we think about what we want, there's all those yeah, but I didn't get it before, yeah, but I'm a failure, yeah, but I'll never have that, I'm not good enough. So again, once we clear that, we can start moving forward. So tell us a little bit about how did things change for you? 